actually is uh, very important for us. Uh, it's been uh, two years. We tried once to get the, the qualification uh, to being here. We didn't. And the second chance we did it. Uh, it will be a great pleasure. And uh, we hope to, to take the, the, the chance to make it uh, good. On the first day we have no pressure. <laughs> the second day the pressure is going up. Uh, and now it's on the red line. And we are here to win, to lose, to enjoy to know London and to be uh, besides uh, every stars. Our idols, they are all playing here, so uh, let's enjoy the moment and that's it. No problem. Yes, thanks very much indeed, Nick. Here's the underdogs, Portugal. What can they come up with here? Rui Franco, the shorter man on the right, and the, uh, the older player of the two, Joao Grillo, up against these two. Wu Cha Ching on the left there. Ted, you and I were both there back in 2005 when he just captivated the world of pool by winning that world championship as a 16-year-old. A very chubby 16-year-old as well. He had a lot of puppy yeah. fat still. He must have lost 15 like kilos that. since those days. He really has sort of t changed his body shape completely. Yeah, at the time, he was playing for uh, Chinese Taipei. Now has uh, switched over to playing for China. And... Uh, has just continued over the years to be such a phenomenal player. Of course, in this sport, you don't win everything, but he so is a always a threat to win every tournament. I know any all the players who play him will tell you First how rack, tough race he to is. Seven, winner breaks. Well, so break. it was his partner Dan Jinhu who won the lag. So that's the bad news for Portugal. China, the number three seeds, up first and. They are breaking from where we've seen most of the successful breaks, particularly yesterday. This angle, they'll attack that one ball, look to get the wing ball down, which has gone, the seven, and the one's gone north as well, and he'll take that every day of the week. I'll give you a little insight, inside knowledge. I was talking to referee Nigel Reese just a few minutes ago, and he was saying, you know, they hand rack the balls, that uh, the balls seem to be freezing together quite easily at the moment. Whereas yesterday, the day before, they were having a few problems. And a lot of this has to do with the conditions of the table. When you start out, the table's very slick and uh, you know the temperature in here changes. So right now, balls freezing together means you're likely to see more balls pocketed on the break. That does not bode well at the moment for Portugal. So no excuses then for any of these countries that we'll see in action during the course of the day. Here is Wu Cha Ching. There he is, the former world champion. The 16-year-old wonder boy who really has gone on and fulfilled his potential and then some. Remember how he did it too. He uh, was playing a Kuo Po Cheng and he, he won five straight racks at the end to win the world championship. I, I just don't know how he did it at 16 years old. The pressure was just thick and heavy. He had ice in his veins. And I'm going to confess something here, and I'm not sure if I'd even say this with Wu Cha Ching in the house. I still have in my possession the eight ball from that rack that he won with. A bunch of us on the crew just went down. We were like vultures. We took all those balls. I didn't get the nine, but I got the yeah, eight. I was going to say, who got the nine ball? Oh, that, that was somebody in the sound department. You know what those guys are like. <laughs> but if if, uh, if 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 Wu wants his eight ball back, we'll have a chat after his match here. I don't think he cares about that too much. Speaking of Wu and the eight ball, there it is. Ideal start here for China, Nick. This well, is... You knew this off the break, didn't you? You could see the spread of balls, Ted, and you thought they're not going to have any problems here. That is a, an ominously good start for the number three seeds. I mean, you feel sorry for Portugal here, don't you? That, that they couldn't even afford to lose the lag in this one, and they did. Super break from Dang Jin, who got his wing ball down. Let's have a look at that, if we can get to see that again. The wing ball is the to the right of the diamond and that just flew in the one ball also did what it had to do and really you just looked at the spread off this and thought well there's no problem there goes the wing ball and the rest just lined up like ducks in a row Ted you'd have cleaned up from there perhaps not <laughs>
But these guys, no question. Race to seven then. Another advantage for the Chinese. You know, sir, in China, pool is a sport that is actually supported by the government. Many of our fans may not know that the sport of pool at the professional level is actually one rock to know. under the Olympic umbrella. Mm. It's not in the Olympics, but it's part of the Olympics. And so, you know, there are certain countries when you are under the Olympic system, the government funds it. So they have a national team. These two guys play on the national team. That means they have a salary. Uh, they don't have to have a job. Uh, their job is to play pool. They go train every day. Um, that's such a big advantage when you have that kind of support. Well, the one ball was a real hard one, and Deng Jin Hu has just managed to dispatch that, and they may well be back in business again. Interesting there, while you were uh, giving us the background on nine ball in China, Ted, it was interesting to see that Wu Cha Ching was breaking from the other side, and we've seen a few breaks from the other side, and a lot of them have come up dry in the previous couple of days, but not for Wu. He deposited his wing ball, and off we go again. So it just goes to show you're not dependent on breaking from one side or another at the moment on this table. No, and also he's a lefty, so he may be more comfortable on uh, just being on that side. Now, for the first time in the match, they've got a shot they've really got to think about. And the Portuguese are just hoping, is this the moment we get out of our chairs? Let's see. He's got his shot on, and he's just nailed it. They're giving him nothing, are they? These Chinese have come out red hot. Well, speaking of that chair, <laughs> Portugal better get comfortable. Now that should slam on the brakes. It wouldn't have dropped anyway. Maybe travelled a little bit further than it would he would have wanted as he got a, as he got some angle here, and that's what these guys are looking at and thinking. Oh, maybe, maybe we still might have a chance at getting out of our chairs here. This is a big shot for position, not for the pot. That's easy, but getting position—that's the key. Not a side spin on there. And a mid-range seven, which shouldn't be a problem for an elite-level player like Dan Jin Hu. And he brings the cue ball back down the table, and this is this is textbook Scotch doubles nine ball we're seeing here. These two perfectly in sync, absolutely in harmony, nailing every shot. And that's two racks gone, and the Portuguese haven't moved. They lost the lag, and it's just, OK, well, let's sit and enjoy the show with the rest of them. Well, China, always one of the powerhouses, traditionally, of nine ball pool anywhere around the world. And their story in the World Cup of pool kind of reflects a bit of a, an up and down. They've won it, of course, a couple of times, semi-finals, quarter-finals, but they've also been shocked on three occasions. It will be a shock if they get shocked again. Yeah, they would. Portugal's just going to have to hope that it all just collapses. But uh, based on the first two racks here, that's not going to be the case. China looking very relaxed. Balls down on the break. No uh, unforced errors. In other words, they're doing what, exactly China what you need to do two racks to, nil. to win in nine ball. Eliminate the self-inflicted wounds. Yeah. Make balls on the break. Now, Portugal will get their chance. There's no way they're going to just run seven racks without any roadblocks at all. But here's another break where the uh, wing ball has gone. The cue ball just about stayed up. And what's going to happen here? He does have a little cut on that one ball. The two has gone, so getting position on the three off this very fine cut is the key here for Wu. I mean, what Portugal will be thinking is they know they'll get their opportunity. It will come. You've just got to hope that it's not after four or five or six racks. Well, Portugal was hoping that uh, China would come out and struggle. 
uh, at the opening rack or two and uh, that they might be able to get the few on the board and apply a little heat. Now, now that, that didn't go well. That did not go well. Finally, finally they've made an unforced error. Now can Wu get out of this? Yeah, that didn't need that contact there. That's messed things up. And that's messed things up for Portugal. So your first time at the table and you've got to deal with that snooker. Long bank would be the obvious option because that is really jammed up behind that orange five ball, isn't it? So welcome to the World Cup of Pool, Joao Grillo and Rui Franco. This is what you've got to deal with at your first time at the table. He's really got no other option here, Grillo. Oh, oh he scratched oh, it off it as well. I mean, that's Boys just... That's he just should have seen that coming. Yeah. Start the clock, please. We've been playing for just about, let's see, just a 10 minutes or so, and uh, it's already dark days for Portugal. Well, Joao Grillo lost the lag, and then his only shot so far was a scratch. Rui Franco hasn't even moved out of his seat since the player introduction. It can't go on like this, surely, but uh, they are going to be three racks down. Portugal. Well, we saw England B making short work of Indonesia. We might be setting a new record here, the way the Chinese have started out here, and these guys are on the receiving end of it. You know, I've talked about the seedings as well, and we'll talk about this a little bit more after the break, Ted, but it looks like the seedings committee have got this worked out bang on once again because the number three seeds are really rubbing the faces of the unseeded teams in it. Portugal, deep in trouble. Three adrift. They've lost the lag. They've scratched. That is their contribution to the match so far. China nailing just about everything. It is looking very bleak for the underdogs. Looking pretty good for China. Back in a moment. It's day three of six here in Bethnal Green, East London, and the World Cup of Pool. We're enjoying our first match, or rather we are, and China are, Portugal aren't. Still to come, Holland against Hungary, the dangerous-looking Austrians against Sweden. That's our afternoon session. In the evening, the last of the round of 16, the USA against Singapore, and then we move into second-round matches. Japan, Canada, and Finland against the only unseeded team to make it through so far, India. And as we watch the left-handed Wu Cha Ching break off here, let's assume... He is going to break well into this frozen rack, and that seven-wing ball is going to go down, and there it goes. The cue ball's just sliding a little bit further north than he wants it to be, but it's another rack that looks pretty good for China as the cue ball continues to spin its way. And let's go back to these seedings, Ted, because you and our colleague Alex Laley have been saying all week that, you know what, take those seedings with a pinch of salt. And yet the seedings committee seem to have got this right because only one seed, England A, has fallen. Well, what I mean by that is that uh, they're based on WPA rankings, and there really isn't enough of these big-time ranking events to get a clear picture on who is the best team. So, whereas Germany might be a 14th seed, I mean, they could just as easily be a number two seed when you have the likes of Ralph Suke and Thorsten Holman there. I must admit, I looked at that one and thought, Suke and Homan, 14. There must be some red-hot teams in yeah. this tournament this year. But but overall, you're, you, you are correct that the seedings committee has uh, done a great job in figuring out uh, who are the best teams. Yeah, pat on the back as ever for those guys. Well, they might have got China wrong. They seeded them at number three. They're playing like a number one seed at the moment. Well, we saw one complete and utter blowout in our last match last night. England B just humiliating Indonesia. This is even worse. Even more one-sided, if that's possible. Here's another rack that's just disappearing before Portuguese eyes. 
You've got to feel sorry in particular for Rui Franco on the, uh, on, on the right. He's not even had a chance to make a shot yet. If you want to learn how to play <laughs> nine ball, this is how you do it. You sit there and watch the masters at it. First thing, and I'll repeat it, you got to get balls down on the break. Okay? And you've got to limit your mistakes, unforced errors. You've got to have no self-inflicted wounds. So this is perfect. This is exactly how you do it. Make it look simple. China now up four to nil. And it doesn't appear that there will be anything stopping Team China from getting a spot in the final 16. They're just, well, <laughs> they're talking yeah. about maybe, um, well, could be early on, or happy hour at the pub. Yeah, you know that late, that late lunch we booked, let's see if we can bring it forward. <laughs> Here is the format. The first and second round matches are just up to seven racks. That moves up to nine. And then, of course, 10 for the final winner breaks, as we're seeing, 30 second shot clock. That's not been a factor at all so far in this match. But if a team does need to take a little look at a shot, they are allowed one extension of 30 seconds per team per rack. I don't think these Chinese have come remotely close to 30 seconds for any of these shots so far. Wu Cha Ching and his partner, Dang Jin Hu, have been almost perfect. There was one slight stumble on the third rack, but even then they were able to just play a safety shot, which Portugal couldn't get out of. And then they were back rolling again. Well, the righty-lefty combination clicking so far. Expect that blue ball to disappear. If that goes according to script, it's gone. Now, if that one just keeps travelling, they may not have plain sailing for the first time in a long time. Will Portugal get to the table off the back of this one? Yeah, that was that little kick that uh, put that one back down to where it is now. And uh, so he's going to have to play yeah. hide and seek here, <laughs> which he's done. Another yeah. another trip to the table. This is trip number two for Portugal and, and, and yet again. And trip number one for this fella who goes by yeah. the wonderful nickname of Mr. Nineball. Now, if you're going to carry a nickname like that around, you better bring something to the party. So come on, Mr. Nineball, what do you got? Get out of this one. Well, they've had, uh, this is the second look they've had at any shot. Extension call. And it is, again, in jail. Stinker, isn't it? It really is. So the first one from Franco uh, resulted in a scratch and a foul. Let's see. Okay. Well, he's managed Grillo. to make the shot, Franco. But that's it. But well, that's he, it. He left it on. So the next ball, it'll be one in the side onto the three. Looks like a combination on the three. I think he just went back and said to his uh, partner, Joao Grillo there, Rui Franco, you know what? At least I can say I've had a shot in the uh, World Cup of pool. It was looking like he might not have had even that. Got out of it well, but yeah, you're just hoping for a bit of luck off the back end of that, and he didn't get any. Oh, that was a miscue oh, yeah. there. Exactly at the time that the uh, that the 30 second shot clock buzzer went, and I wonder if that just put him off a touch. Certainly, his cueing went completely awry there. Look at that. Well, he tried to uh, hit it low left, very low, very left, and uh, he had a really strong stroke. And a miscue. So, Joao Grillo pots his first ball of the match. Mr. Nine ball is back. Let's see if he can plant the combination here. They've got to get this one, haven't they, Ted? There's absolutely no way they can mount any kind of comeback if they don't nail this one, and that was exactly. not ideal. Yeah, he's played that very well, but he, and he's going to avoid the scratch as well. That was a really good shot there from uh, Joao Grillo. Originally from the town of Evora in the middle of uh, Portugal. Beautiful city, not many people know about it. It's the marble capital of uh, Portugal. It just seems like every building is made out of white marble. Absolutely dazzling place. 
Rui Franco giving his partner position. Be interesting to see what happens if the Portuguese can run out and they can break as well as the Chinese have been breaking. Because 4 0 can disappear very quickly. Yeah, in this format. And if, like you say, if balls are going down, then that uh, clears the table. But right, right now, it's oh, one oh, shot oh, at oh, a time. Oh, 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 oh. That just traveled a little bit more than it needed to. Yeah, so now cue ball is going to uh, do a bit of traveling. And he played that just right. So Grillo for Portugal's first rack on the board. They get it. Four to one now, and they'll be breaking. So let's see if they can replicate what China has been doing. moment that he wanted it really isn't far from okay that was a very clever little shot Portugal to break trailing one rack to four so this is the moment right here well, let's see what they can do. Can they break as well as the Chinese? Well, yeah. A little bit unlucky that the cue ball took a nudge, but that's going to play out pretty well. Okay. The first part of the equation is solved. Ball and the break. Now, you must execute. Franco sending his partner up to the table. Joao Grillo to attempt this three ball. And if he can put his partner in position, which he has done for the four, they should be okay. It's good to see them getting the chance at least. And since they've been up at the table, they've played a pretty solid game here, the Portuguese partnership. Yeah, don't see any signs of panic. No. Good positional shot again from the younger of the two Portuguese. Steady, thoughtful, purposeful, effective. They needed a break and run out here, Portugal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mr. Nine Ball has missed a massive nine ball, and that might be the match gone, and there is just no excuse for this. He just tightened up mentally. Execution. That's what it's all about, and they failed to do it. They did all the dirty work, Nick, and China gets the rack. This should be 4-2, and Portuguese breaking off. Instead, it's a steal, and Rui Franco, you have to feel for him. An absolute disaster. He knows it. What a lonely place a pool table can be when you've played a shot like that. They don't care. The Chinese, 5-1 to the good. We'll continue with the action after this break. Spare a thought 
for Rui Franco. Missed the nine ball, missed the nine ball. And with that, the opportunity for Portugal is probably gone. China stealing the rack, and he knows. Holland versus Hungary coming up next. Then the interesting looking number two seeds Austria against an extremely capable unseeded Sweden. That's the afternoon session. Tonight, we wrap up the round one matches with the USA versus Singapore. Then we move into second round action. Japan versus Canada. Finland versus India with all those drummers in the house. It'll be loud, it'll be noisy. Right now, Wu Cha Ching did not put the wing ball down, but he got another one. And he's got the cue ball right down the bottom of the table. Yeah, the one ball went down, top corner. Yeah, that cue ball took a heck of a boof there from the uh, spinning eight ball, I think it was. That's why that's uh, headed down to the bottom of the table. Luckily for the Chinese that uh, there's an opportunity to at least see that two ball, which is sticking its nose out. Dang will be looking for safety. Containing safety there. No point in going for that shot. Very long and difficult cut shot, plus the position wasn't there on the three, so he chooses safe. And they're very comfortable playing safe at this point. Now, Portugal took a timeout during that break. They literally just left the building, which I think was smart of Rui Franco. From what, I, from what I gather, uh, Rui wanted to keep walking <laughs> but uh, one of our staff out there in the truck stopped them from going. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> but yeah, like you said, Nick, it's uh, the, a pool table can be a pretty lonely place. Yeah. And uh, when you miss a shot like that, it is uh, yeah. not just embarrassing. It's, uh, it's just depressing. And everybody's done it. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Hey. Remember at the Whirlpool Masters, Alex Pagulian had the match, nine ball, and it was straight in, and he missed it and gave the match to Jason Shaw. Yeah, there isn't a pool player in the world that's uh, laughing at Rui Franco right now because they've all been in that position somewhere along the line in their careers. They've had something nice and easy lined up, and for whatever reason, they've blown it. That's sport for you. Yeah, that's why we play the games. These guys aren't machines. What he's got to do now, though, is completely forget about it. The old short memory syndrome. Put it out of your mind. Get back to doing what you do best. Well, I have fortunately for Wu Cha Ching. Now, what about that? Now, that's the way to forget about a blown nine. However, he's uh, <laughs> not left a shot there. And he was just trying to play safe. That was not uh, intentional. See, there's me. I'm a glass half full guy. You're the glass half empty guy. I'm saying, look, that's Come good. On. That's what you wanted to do. Yeah. He trusts his partner to get out of this snooker. He knows he can do it. <laughs> See? This is all part of the plan. Now, look, I tell you, if you're playing <laughs> safety shots like that, you are not out of this match. What a shot from Joao Grillo. Silence, Ted Lerner, that's how good it was. Mm. He liked it. It was very well done. I agree. Extension cold. Yeah, what, what we have seen of Portugal, mostly, except for that nine ball, has been pretty it, good. Yep. I just take that nine ball out. They've done nothing wrong. And, and that's why up. you play a safety yeah. like that. You, you force your opponents to foul and... Start the clock, please. You get ball in hand. So now it comes down to, once again, that execution. We've got well, to get out here, Nick. This is the younger man, Joao Grillo, that came up with that stunning safety. He has not had a misstep at all, the younger of the two. Rui Franco, of course, is the man that missed the nine, and he did scratch on a safety shot. But this fellow hasn't had a misstep at all. The combination was there to be taken. So three to the four, maybe a four-eight combo in there as well. The six and seven are a little bit messed up. That's not quite plain sailing. 
Six goes uh, bottom right, mm. top right, but uh, it's going to get to position, require, haven't you? Yeah, position. Yeah, they're not bothering with any 4 8 combination. They're looking to try and get position on the six off this yeah. shot right here. Six will go bottom corner. Got to go. Got to keep rolling, keep rolling. Well, now he's going to have to, looks like he's going to have to take it off the rail. Yeah, that's that's added a degree of difficulty. It needed half a revolution more. Well, they're challenging Joao Grillo. Well, his partner's challenging him. He stepped up massively last time with that beautiful safety shot, and he's nailed that one effortlessly as well. Now, has he managed to give his partner position on the seven as well? Well, that's not a bad effort again. This young man is pretty good. Nice job there from Rui Franco. That gets him back in the game after that missing that nine ball. As I said, did the right thing. Got out of the building just, just for a few seconds. You just forget everything. Well, you what about this nine ball? Well, he's got to get this. Now, the ghost of the previous nine ball cannot be dancing around in the back of his head. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> he's probably just saying to himself, well, why didn't I do that last time? You know, what if he had? This is a 4-3 match. Well, that one earlier was uh, a bit more difficult than the one he just had. 5-2 now. It's just a race to seven. Well, they've saved faced Portugal, if nothing else, and this, the shot of the rack. Snookered, and then coming out with an effort like that, and it forced the foul from China. Ball in hand, and it wasn't the easiest cleanup that uh, you'll see on a pool table. They looked at it and went, yeah. And then, no doubt, they were hoping for another miss. That's not happening. Portugal hopes remain intact. Yeah, they're playing very loose, and uh, sometimes when you're dead and buried, or seemingly so, you tend to relax, and it's what we call in the sport playing in a freewheeling mode. Where all the pressure's off you, you already know you're, eight, you were supposed to lose. Portugal to break, training two racks to five. So they have, in, in what we've seen of them, and for most of this match it's been China, but uh, Portugal playing very good quality nine ball pool. Franco gets the wing ball down. Oh, the one is not perfectly placed at all. That's just rolled into an eclipse with the five. And Ooh, that wing yeah. ball is going every single time, it seems like. You know something? I don't know if he's going to go for this or not, but Grillo went down there to have a look at the possibility of a 1-9 here. He's having another look here. I wonder. Now, only he will know if this goes. But this will be a huge shot. Oh, and he's got it! Oh, ho, what about that for a shot? He took a look at it and he thought, I can get that. And he's done it, and this match is changing its complexion by the minute. And it's this young man here, Joao Grillo, that is on fire right now. There you see it. That's called the carom. Hit the cue off the object ball first and then into the nine ball. And when the nine goes, you win the rack. You know something? This match should be for all. But as it is, Portugal are right in it now. Uh, this is nine ball for you. Yeah, you look at the other side as well, Ted. I mean, look at these guys. It's like, well, we were all just smiling and joking and laughing. One missed snooker. And they've been stuck in their chairs ever since. Portu and, yeah. I was going to say, and at least one of these Portuguese players is hitting everything. Thank you, Rack 9. Portugal to break. Train three racks to five. They've got that wing ball. The two balls sticking out on the right and left side. Here it's the uh, eight and seven. So watch that brown seven head towards 
the bottom right hand corner right in the pocket just like that and the nine look where the one nine is here look at this look at this that is <laughs> very lucky Every neutral is thinking, come on, Rui Franco, you can do it. And he has. <laughs> oh! It has changed again. Double quick time, back to back racks. Short circuited. Well, anybody who had a bet on China 10 minutes ago might be tempted to tear up their betting slip. These Portuguese are storming back into this one. We've got a thriller building up here. We've had a team of pool historians searching the record books for the last time. We had back-to-back 1-9 -back combinations. No one's come up with anything. Have you ever seen this? Well, the first one was a carom. That's a combination. But I get your point, Nick. we got to get the committee to go. We're, we're having them research it right now. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. That was pretty good. And uh, Portugal has stormed back. As we said earlier, the, the one uh, thing that when they were getting blown out of here, 5-1, they were calm. They didn't panic. They were taking it one shot at a time. Two, Two ball. ball. Three, Three I, think. I think. And where's that nine going now? It's not going to quite drop, but uh, they're thinking, well, we'll just do a combination shot on that, you know. I mean, why bother just going through the rack when you can uh, find a combination on the nine? What a This is shot. Portuguese pool style. This is just... Double quick time. They're not getting paid by the shot. They're getting paid by the rack. Make it as quick as they possibly can. Now, if the two goes, then the three. All they've got to do is travel. Oh, no, it doesn't want that, but not exactly a disaster. You know what they're thinking. 4-9, four, 4-9. Nine, four, nine. That's just avoided the scratch, but he's really put that in no man's land. Well, uh, he could play maybe a safe on the on the four, bring it back up table, just try to cannon into the nine. I was going to say, is there a carom on, the, on there? Uh, sure. I mean, that's the way he's playing as well. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't missed. Can he just carom that cue ball into the nine? Forget about the four. If he misses, of course, he's given the rack to China, and that'll put him on the hill. So that, that maybe, oh, he, maybe safety is the key. Now four into the nine. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this is outrageous. This is absolutely outrageous from Portugal. Dead and buried at five-one. They missed that routine nine ball. And I'm sure we lost 99% of our audience at that moment. The 1% that stuck around are seeing the comeback of the competition so far. Very well done. And as much as we're enjoying this stunning Portuguese renaissance, there's two guys sitting in the other corner that can't believe what's happening. Yeah. Do the impromptu manicures, yeah, what, what, you know, wipe the sweat off the hands, there's nothing else they can do. I mean, what a dazzling display of virtuoso pool he's to have put up ever since a complete calamity on the nine ball that is already ancient history. Yeah, well, let's also remember that the nine ball, which this is unusual to see the nine ball moving towards the pocket time and time again. That's uh, a very fortunate... Uh, circumstance that's uh, favoring Portugal right now. Keep an eye again on the nine ball. What odds would you get in a golden break in this match? You got everything else. Now the nine ball doesn't move. There is a path, I think, to touching the one, but I don't think that goes anywhere. That seven has obscured that completely. Not the wing ball down, but this is not a join up the dots rack. 
that seven has put paid to that. And this is a sort of, you know, just in time, Nick, that we get a rack like this because uh, now that we're tied, it's time to duke it out in this race to two to determine who goes to the final 16. So the Chinese are getting their cue sticks ready. They yep. will get a chance. They're going to be back on the table. But what is it they're going to be dealing with? Extension call. The other option, of course, is the push out. I don't see much value in that particularly, but it is there if they want it. And Rui Franco. See a little bit of that. He's just got to make sure it gets safe, and that might need a little bit more. Has he done enough? Has he done enough? It might just be a little sliver of it sticking its nose out. If there is, it's not much. That's no. not bad. No, it's very good safety. Saw his reaction, Rui Franco. I don't think he was overwhelmingly pleased with it, but when you look at the overhead, and it's like, yeah. That's not bad. So Wu Cha Ching, we haven't called his name in a long, long time. That's going to bounce around. He needs that to sit behind the two, and that's exactly what he's got. Now, Grillo can kick that out of there. And if he can stun the cue ball, he might be able to put China right back in trouble. But that is a super shot from yeah, Wu. Very creative. That's done too much. Yeah. Didn't hit it hard enough. So now a chance for China to get one back to move to the hill. One away from victory. Yeah. One shot changes. The momentum of the match completely again. Oh, what a good match it's been. Is there going to be another twist and turn in this one? Delicate touch there from Wu. Setting up Dang Jin Hu nicely. The Tiger. That's just come off the rail a little bit, which is the good news. And it's going to be another delicate little touch shot this from Wu. Extension cold. Yeah, just double clutching there as well, just giving you an indication of the uh, degree of difficulty in this. Yeah, he's having a little problem getting comfortable with his right hand there. Nicely done. That's what I mean when I say he's a great uh, pure shooter. That was a really nice pot there. So just in time after a uh, safety battle. The Chinese come out on top and they take the lead six to five. They need one more to move into the round of 16. Yeah, that was the cavalry coming over the hill for the Chinese. They looked out of it just because of the way these two were playing. But you know what? I said it before, we'll say it again. You just never have seven comfortable racks of pool in a row. It doesn't work like that. You'll always get your chance. Portugal able to come back, and he took his time with that four. This was the crucial shot of the rack. Wu Cha Ching executing to perfection. China cleaning up, going on the hill, and let's not forget, although it's been a while, they have been breaking very effectively. One more good break. 
this first round match will be written into the history books. So it'll be Dang Jing Hu. And once again, look for the wing balls. Leading six racks to five. To head towards the bottom corner. Straight in. Oh, a, oh, that was almost cue ball kicked in as well. That two, that that uh, red three rather came along and just smashed into the cue ball. Watch that. Here it comes. That could have been disaster. They got away with it. Now, talking of combinations, or do you just play the long game here? I'd be surprised. Well, first, uh, we've got to make this. Uh, they've got to make this one ball. But yeah, I'd be surprised if they went for that two-nine combination. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's um, it's probably not necessary at this point. Position on the pink four is an issue. Got to get that right. Nicely screwed back with the cue ball. Go up and get that. Red three, top of the table. Now, has he got the angle he needs to get position on the four? If he has, I think the Portuguese can start unscrewing those cues. And that is the answer right there. Well, what a match it's been. Well, it looked like a procession. Suddenly became a dramatic nail-biter. But now it is playing out according to the script. It's a shame it, uh, it's only a race to seven because yeah. this has uh, been a really entertaining match. Oh, I could watch a match like this all afternoon. And credit to the Portuguese, they played well, but China is just that much better. Yeah. In the end, it went according to the form book, according to the script. China racing out to that early lead, then had a scare, the scare of their lives. Portugal have given us the moment that we'll remember for a long, long time. Who will ever forget those back-to-back -back one nines that we saw? They've given us the highlight reel, but they bow out, heads held high. Instead, it's China that will progress to round two after a dramatic and exciting 7-5. We'll have a reaction from this match and continuing coverage of the World Cup and a pool in just a moment.